My name is Wojciech Sobkowiak, that's Vladek Barbosa and Second Life, and I'm going to talk about phonetic affordances of Second Life for EFL, that's English as a foreign language. I'll be talking about kinesthetic learners, building blocks in real life, and phonetic affordances in Second Life, and how all these can be connected and combined. Now, one of the famous sayings of Confucius is, I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. The last line is really an epitome of kinesthetic learning, learning by doing, manipulating objects. Now, people manipulate all kinds of objects. Um, the prime example of that is, of course, building blocks. Kinesthetic learners who are very fond of building blocks of all kinds are those that don't like lectures. They like to do something. They like the movement. They like to change the position, OK? Building blocks um, is an example of a toy we uh, love from the very beginning of our lives. Building blocks can be used for language learning when we put some linguistic symbols on them, like you see in the slide. They can be letters, they can be sounds, they can be symbols of other language units. Now, the same idea underlies David Merrill's siftables. These building blocks are actually computers. Each one is a computer that senses the presence of other building blocks in the vicinity. It can play Scrabble, but you can also learn languages with uh, these building blocks. It's easy to look up Merrill's siftables on YouTube. Now, in Second Life, it's much easier to actually build such affordances into virtual objects. You can build phonetic affordances into them, and that's exactly what I'll, I'll be showing you in the next three slides. Different ideas of enhancing objects in Second Life with phonetic information. For example, you've got syllables here, small blocks, unstressed syllable, big blocks, stressed syllables. You put them together to form words like apricot. This one. Um, you can do more than that. Uh, you can have walk through grid, like this one, where. Uh, the learner walks through the grid so that the sounds at the edges of words match. That's uh, how it should Eight sound. Fever and steak. Cream. Milk. Ketchup. Pork chops. Cereal. Lettuce. Spoon. Finally, every object in Second Life can have all kinds of additional phonetic information built in, including audio files, phonetic information, quizzes, etc. For example, tropical plant, which is, of course, wonderful for learning uh, pronunciation. If you want to know more about these objects, uh, do pay me a visit in Second Life. Uh, I teach there every Wednesday 12 at noon Second Life time. You've got all the necessary uh, data uh, concerning how to find me on the website, which you see on the slide. Thank you.